Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World. Thank you family for coming over and joining me and enjoining me with uh, conversation. Yes, conversation that Celebrity Insider brought out to us by the way of Ashley Mitchell. She's over there as a journalist or um, correspondent breaking out news salacious news trending news however you want to see it she gave us a story on miss kenya moore saying she'd been blocked by nene leaks now you know nene don't care nene block anybody anytime she feel like it, any parts of the day week month or year okay when she don't want to be bothered with you she just block you <laughs> It's just like turning off her telephone, y'all. But y'all get down in them comments when I'm finished with this video and we don't finish digesting it together and trying to figure out where we going with this situation or not, okay? Subscribe to my channel. Share and like my videos, okay? Because you know I'm going to be dropping them every time them housewives of Atlanta are out there doing something. You know I'm following. I'm following, looking, and seeing everything is kosher. But let's get on into the story, y'all. We, like I said, we get it from Ashley Mitchell uh, over there at the Celebrity Insider. Get into their news feed of what stories they're working on or what celebrities they're trying to put things out on, okay? The title of her article goes, Kenya Moore says NeNe Leaks has blocked her on Instagram, okay? If she don't watch it, she been unblocked on YouTube as well as Twitter. Because <laughs> that's just how NeNe gets down, yeah. So, yes. Continue to subscribe to my channel and let's get into this video. Okay, guys, from what she's writing, she said it looks like the drama between Kenya Moore and Nene Leaks is getting bigger and bigger to the point that now Nene has blocked Kenya on social media. Okay, the Real Housewives star told her followers about this yesterday in a post on Instagram spilling the tea. Now, of course, this came out January 25th, but you know, hey, I'm a few days behind, four days, I think. So just bear with me, guys. Bear with me. The post also fixtured. I'm sorry, featured a throwback pic that was taken at the Forever Relevant Ball she hosted during her first season on the show back in 2013. So that's when Kenya came on board, okay? Because it actually started in 2008. So she came five years reigning. Okay. The celebs, the celebs in the shop, which... Uh, showed a few of the past and present real housewives of atlanta cast members were dressed up like different legendary personalities such as grace jones and tina turner to name just a couple aside from nene and kenya other ladies posing for the pick were portia williams cynthia bailey candy burris and phaedra Pops. Ooh, what the good times roll. Let the good times roll when Phaedra used to be on the show. You know what I'm saying? Because Phaedra and Kenya couldn't stand each other only because of Apollo. And you know Apollo is and still always will be a fine-ass man, okay? Even though he got some infractions on him. Uh, it is what it is. He paid his debt to society. Ooh, excuse me. Damn, it's like I'm getting a little tired here. And it ain't number 747, but I worked hard, so staring at a computer screen pretty much all day will get you kind of eye-tired anyway. But yeah, um, like I said, Phaedra and Kenya didn't get along because Kenya always liked to flirt. Now, if she don't want nobody flirting with Mark, you, may, you probably better not even get up in his face and hold a conversation by yourself before she's strolling over there trying to see what you want, how long you done been there, and can you get going. Yes, but she wants to talk to all the men in the group when she was single, before she had any attachment. She used to flirt um, with uh, Peter Thomas, Cynthia's ex-husband. She used to flirt uh, with, um, who was it? She didn't really flirt with Todd. She just carried on a little conversation here and there. And she, we know she used to flirt with Apollo. Shit. Portia, I mean, um, what's her name? Yeah, but she, uh, I think Portia was having some few boyfriends here and there. And uh, Candy used to look at them. I'm not Candy, but Candy used to look at them pretty close. And especially, I remember when um, uh, Cynthia was trying to have her modeling thing going on. Where she was modeling um, 
somewhere in an uh, underground abandoned building. They had got this photo shoot site and she was uh, modeling her cargo luggage wear and some other little things. Uh, her Cynthia Baylor eyewear and stuff. And she used Sheree Whitfield's son. You know, the little handsome football star or whatnot. I think he did play football. Hell, it might have been basketball. But uh, all the women were definitely tuning in on her son's looks. And we, Kenya Moore, almost lost her damn mind looking at that young man. And I was like, ooh, child, Sheree, get, get her, honey, get her. But it just is what it is. Kenya's just a little flirt. We'll always be in forever be flirty with other people's uh, men. Even though, if you look at Ma too long, and too fast. She's got something to say. She really got a lot to say. But moving back to the article. It says alongside the throwback snap. She wrote uh, FBF. Who remembers the forever re relevant ball. Uh, hashtag Real Housewives of Atlanta. Couldn't tag everyone because. Uh, wait a minute. Couldn't tag everyone because it's blocked. No shade. Indeed, all the ladies were tagged in the photo with one caption or one exception, Nene Leak. So it was not hard for fans to quickly figure out who she was talking about. At the last time, it was also not that surprising since their feud has been more um, vicious than ever lately. Uh, the huge fight that had been teased before season 12 finally aired earlier this month. And it was crazy. And then Kenya and Nene nearly had a physical brawl. All the while, the other housewives were also arguing on a number of different topics. All centered around who the snake. Yes, we do remember Snake Gate. That recorded Cynthia slamming Nene uh, without her knowledge. <coughs> was. So, uh, they show a little cute picture of Cynthia and Kenya together in some uh, ball tight gowns or whatnot. And then it goes on to say, and that was not the end of it since Kenya continued the feuding with tweets that attack Nene looks. Does she own a mirror on her six nose job always coming for the pretty girls on the show? She wrote, yikes. Now, Kenya, no. I told you, Kenya, forget the kneecaps, honey. She be hitting at the ankles. She don't care. But only, only, only if we had Phaedra Pauls back on the show. Ooh, she read Kenya for Phil when she was on the show. <coughs> now, that was some good banter. But y'all tell me what y'all think about that. Nene going over there blocking Kenya. I'm like, who going to be next? Because, you know, we only have, what, five or six more uh, episodes to uh, get through before they have a reunion. And from what I hear on them streets, they're talking about they're going to get them a three-part reunion. Now, you know, Andy needs to stop that mess. I mean, just because he have a child and he wants to get home to his child on time like most of the women on the show want to do when he be having filming and production around the time that these celebrity reality stars want to be at home with their families no they got to leave their families and go shoot okay which is a part of their uh mandated performancing and uh shooting and taping these are the uh added stress stressors that they have to face with being an entrepreneur an independent contractor a reality star should we say so he's like mm -mm, we're gonna put this in three part because we're gonna tape here tape there but i, I gotta be at home <laughs> i gotta be at home i think his child's name is benjamin he's cute as a little bug i tell you but anyway yeah a three-part reunion for real housewives of Atlanta. i'm like come on this they gonna be cutting up every uh taping or every um showing of the parts they're trying to give us of a three-part reunion they better be cutting it up oh i'm sure gonna be cutting it up giving a review dragging everything that i can possibly find on andy Cohen and bravo entertainment because that's just a mess you could have had it in two parts we don't need three okay we don't need three because one of them i'm sure it's gonna be a snooze fest a snooze fest okay but y'all get down in them comments and y'all tell me what y'all think. With Kenya trying to blast Nene out about she couldn't uh, send no recaps of some relevant ball that they attended. 
way back when because Nene had her block. I'm like, girl, can you know how to keep yourself relevant, honey? You and Nene both. But that ain't nothing new, can you? Can you? Nene block everybody. Hell, she would probably block some of her followers if they said the wrong thing on her YouTube account, her Instagram account, Facebook, Twitter, who, whatever. You say the wrong thing to Nene, yes, you're going to get a block. And you can come up in one of those different names, trolling accounts, and try to still pop off. But she'll block you on that too. Okay? So Nene just want a little bit of respect here and there. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. That's what Aretha Franklin said. Give to me. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Take care, P-C-T. Sock it to me, sock it to me, sock it to me, sock it to me, sock it to me. Yes, honey. That's what Nene was saying. Respect me or get back before you get slapped. That's what she said, y'all. In her mind, she probably didn't let it come out of her mouth. But I'm just speaking for her just in that instance. So, y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all think about chick. Can you really be worried about who's blocking her here and there since she is miss twirl miss twirl miss twirl what y'all think about that team twirl kenya is wondering why nene blocked her and she think that's supposed to be a shade or diss by her coming out the celebrity insider bringing the tea that nene definitely had her blocked child please come with some else come with some else can you but i know you're trying to keep your name out there with your name has to be synonymous with keeping any name out there so y'all two make money together go forth and be great with all of this uh crazy reality foolery fakery fraudulent fraudulent foolishness that y'all give us to watch so i appreciate you kenya yes i do and i will see y'all next video remember to like comment and subscribe and share my videos guys good night bye bye